I'm going to show you how to trim uh, adult heavy to a breed standard even uh, when it is clipped, not hand stripped, and what mistakes to avoid. My model today is going to be this lovely girl, Tinka Dora. Hello. <laughs> she is, uh, I think she's about eight years old. She always been clipped um, and she was staying with me for a few days and she's having a haircut. Um, as you can see, her face is a little bit fluffy. Um, very cute, more like a teddy bear. Um, and I'm going to show you in this video how to reshape her face so she looks more like an adult in a breed standard. Hi, I'm Yitka, happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. I've always been passionate about dogs and being in the pet industry for over 30 years, including winning international dog grooming competitions, representing England and being placed at the World Team Championship and winning Dog Grooming Salon of the Year Award. The knowledge I gained over the years plus my diplomas in canine massage and clinical aromatherapy have uh, led me to be the proud founder of Vitacanis, aromatherapy products for dogs and their owners. She is not, at the moment, she is not in a breed standard and trim, breed standard trim. And I explain why. If you are not familiar uh, with the adult terrier breed standard haircut, uh, I'm going to explain in this video and I'll do my best to bring her back to adult area breed standard trim. So even if the dog is clipped, you still try to keep the shape as if it was a show dog. That means we try to keep the body as short as possible. Uh, we keep in the straight line on the face and the beard. We keep straight cylindrical shaped legs. We leave more furnishings on the back legs to make the dog shorter in the body. We clip the back end and the front end uh, short as possible again to make the dog look shorter in the body. So what's the difference between this cute haircut, you know, she got really cute uh, teddy bear like expression to a proper adult terrier, a little bit sharp expression. So first of all, we'll start with the tail. I mean, this is, this is cute. Uh, if you, as a dog owner, like fluffy tail on your Edel, your Fox Terrier, Walsh Terrier, even Schnauzers, fair enough, you know, it's cute. Uh, but if your dog is uh, clip or hand stripped or breed standard, the tail should be short. So later on, I'm going to clip her tail because her owners decided they would like to go back to short tail. So what we would like to see on the back leg is the same length of this on this part of the leg, like on the body. So when I clip her body, I'll clip further down. I leave the longer furnishings on the front of the back leg. Good girl. To make her look shorter in the body. I mean, I can't do hair extension, but I leave as much as possible. And then I'm going to clip the back of her back leg over the sitting bone down to the hog so it will enhance her angulation, we will see her angulation. So this, all this excess hair on the back of her back leg will be clipped off. Uh, on her front legs, uh, they're pretty good shape, they're quite, uh, front legs are quite short but again, it's a personal preference. Some dog owners prefer it shorter because it's easier to look after, which is absolutely fine. So I'll just do more blending around the elbows and just tidy up her front legs. So Tinka's um, face needs reshaping. Uh, her expression is very cute now, more like a teddy bear um, than an Adele and I'm going to reshape the face to make her look more sharper, more like an adult should look like. So I'm going to clip to outer corner of the eye and create a line from outer corner of the eye <laughs> to her mouth to create the correct shape, which you can 
find in my previous video where I hand stripped Edel Terrier Tammy. I'm going to clip her ears short. Again, the fluffy ears uh, gives her more teddy bear-like expression and shorter ears will give her the proper terrier look. Adult Terrier, Fox Terrier, Welsh Terrier, um, Lakeland should have longer hair to make the body look shorter. So the hair should be like long like this and go into the longer furnishings on the front of the back leg to middle of the rear pastern and down. Uh, another point, uh, she should have a little bit longer hair here between the front legs because if the hair is taken too short it makes like a, a gap between the front legs which we don't like because it makes the front legs look too long. So I just clipped uh, Tinka's body with five of blade and her tail. Looks more like an idol now. I'm going to scissor her leg. There's not much to scissor, as I said. There's, the tuck up is missing, so I'm just going to leave it there as it is. Just tidy up around here with my thinning scissors and we let her furnishing grow a little bit more. I'm just going to tidy up her foot, which is in really nice shape already. Just need to go a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to blend around here. So what are we creating is a straight line from the top of the leg down, from the hock down. There's a straight line on rear pastern. And also on the inside of the back leg, I'll be creating straight line as well. I think Tinka has a little arthritis, so if she wants to sit down, I will let her and I will work on the other part of the table to see how she goes. So I clipped down to the hook and I'm going to tidy up her rear pastern to make it more straight. Actually, I could clip a little bit further down. So I'm going to use my blenders. And then if she had a longer furnishing, it will separate the front furnishing, comb it forward the side furnishing up and out and create a straight line from the top of the leg down. Good girl. There's not much to take off, so it's just, just a tidy look really. And I'm not going to do anything with the front of the back leg because the hair is still too short, so we need to let the furnishing grow. Same with the tuck up. On the inside of the back leg, we are looking for a straight line from the inner thigh muscle down. Um, Again, there's a lot of coat to work with, so I will just tidy up. There's nothing wrong with shorter furnishing. To be honest, it's easier to 
look after your dog so if you prefer it that's absolutely fine even some of my dogs have shorter furnishings so now i'm going to work on her left front leg before that i just mentioned you can see there is a hair missing here on the chest we would like to see more hair on her breastbone here about this length level with the elbows so we need to let this grow um, so you can see that her right leg is already trimmed uh, the foot is quite short sensitive on her feet like most of the terriers so I just tidy up a little bit the foot is in a good shape now we need more blending around this area here. And what we're looking for with the front leg is cylindrical shape. Now this is not going to happen because the hair on the front of her, uh, on, on the front of the front leg, <laughs> it's quite short um, and also her pastel, her foot is slightly softer. This happens with age, so they go a little bit lower on their pastel, so that's why the foot looks a little bit longer. Uh, so we're going to, so as I said, this, this is quite short, I can't do much with that. The sides are slack, so I'm going to just tidy up. So when she comes for the next haircut, it will be easier to follow the good girl, to follow the shape and create straight lines on the front leg. So the front leg should, it's, it's a cylindrical shape we're looking for. So the front leg should look like a bottle. Furnishing on the back of the front leg should be longer. Again, to, together with the long furnishing on the front of the back leg and back of the front leg, it would bring the dog together and make it look shorter in the body. But as I said earlier, if you or your client prefer shorter furnishings, that's absolutely fine. It's easier to brush, easier to look after. So that's, that's absolutely fine. But if we are talking about a breed standard trim, we need to leave this hair longer. Good. So now I'm going to work on Tinka's face. She looks so cute. Are we going to make her look more like an adult? Less fluffy, sharper expression. So I'm going to use um, a seven egg blade on her cheeks, on top of the, her head, and on her front, on her throat. Then I'm using 15 blade on top of her ears and 30 blade on the inside of the ears. So I'm going to clip with 7F to outer corner of the eye, leave this line here, then I'm going to clip to corner of the mouth. At the bottom, I'm going to clip up to the chin, leaving hair on the side. This, this will create our goatee and same on the other side.
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make her eyebrows less fluffy, so they look more like triangles. Uh, they are level with the skull, so they're not sticking up. They're not as fluffy as they are now. I'm going to reshape the beard, so I'm going to keep the line corner of the eye, corner of the mouth, which should be the shape of her beard. So anything below the comb, I'm going to uh, scissor off using my blenders. I would like to have a little bit more length on her beard, but um, again, maybe it doesn't grow, or maybe Leonis would prefer it shorter. Again, that's fine because, to be honest, it's easier to brush. <laughs> so, um, I'm using my blenders now. So, I'm creating the line from the co uh, corner of the eye, outer corner of the eye, corner of the mouth. So, this is the line. And this is our blending area. So, this will ha make her head look longer narrower and longer and it gives her more of the airtel expression so her goatee at the moment is quite short but it's in correct shape so it, it's not starting here like before but the shortest point is in the corner of the mouth and it's growing gradually longer. So with Adele, we would like to have more coat here on her nose and to create, to, to have the face level with the skull. So we'd like to have a little bit more hair here to make it level with the skull. Um, can't do much at the moment. Good catch. Thank you. Good catch. So we comb the front furnishing forward, side of the face to the side, and then if you place your comb on the cheekbone, it will show how much hair we need to take off. So anything that's exceeding the line of the comb needs to be trimmed. It's not a lot. So it gives her the, the nice rectangular shape of the head. So as I said earlier, the eyebrows are a little bit too fluffy, uh, sticking up. We are looking for a triangle shape. <laughs> She's falling asleep. Triangle shape eyebrows that are level with the skull. So uh, the eyebrows are nicely separated anyway. Um, just a little bit too fluffy, so I separate the eye. I'm going to trim the top first to make it level with the, with the skull, and then we'll see. I rather have shorter eyebrow, good girl, than too fluffy, good girl. Not these scissors. Tinka. Good girl. Okay. So the length of the eyebrow is pretty good. Um, we'll just still need to take some of the bulkiness off. See this part, it's not an eye. Good girl. I just show this. This part is not an eyebrow, as you can see. So the eyebrow is only the hair that grows, that's parallel with the inner corner of the eye. So this is not, this is not a part of the eyebrow. So we're going to scissor that, hey? Good girl. Good girl. We comb it forward. Shape it a little bit, a little bit more off the top okay. so it's still sticking out a little because her coat is curly but you can see good girl the eyebrow is thinker 
Think up. Level with the skull, this one, where this one is still quite fluffy and sticking out. So the eyebrows are quite still, still a bit fluffy, uh, but at least they parallel with the skull. The head is narrower. Uh, we kept these straight lines from the cheekbone forward. So these two lines are parallel, these two lines are parallel. The goatee is quite short, but well, <laughs> time to have extension. So Tinkadora is all done and we are ready for a nice walk, don't we? And if you have any questions about ideal terrier grooming or any long leg terriers, please comment below. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.